Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and in today's video we're playing some more Rogue Lands Mini with Gage the Mech Rogue Man. So let's get this job done. We're on patch 1.1.0, yet to get a win on the Mechromancer, but Gage is one of those characters where I feel like Death Trap is like mega broken. How about 43% cooldown on him? Sounds pretty good. Shield capacity sounds good too, but let's stick with cooldown reduction until we get something damage related. All right, let's see what we got for pistols. How about fire pistol? Consumes two ammo per shot. Decent damage. I do like Jacob's pistols. A corrosive pistol. Okay. And I could go for an explosive, but it's got the it's got knife on it. I don't trust it. Okay. I like where we're at now. As long as oh, and a slag Snyder that could be very very good. Okay. Things are looking decent for us. A bandit launcher. One thing that Gage has going for her more than any other character is that she has Death Trap, which Death Trap can tank the dragons an extremely high amount. Let's go. And this one gives you more fire rate with less magazine size. Which I I personally like it. But is it better than weapon accuracy and reload speed? I don't think it is. Let's go weapon accuracy and reload speed. And also let's grab the assault rifle. Yeah, jack of all trades for sure. Now, we didn't get a Jacob's shoddy on the small map, but we did get a Jacob's pistol, so. We can use that to stack up anarchy. I do have the sanity saver mod. We could. I tried a Rocketeer last match and it failed me horribly, but maybe we could try a Rocketeer this match. Maybe it won't fail me, especially with an assault rifle damage. Class mod to slap on. Let's just try it. And smaller, lighter, faster. Let's take one point in that, one point in anarchy. And then I will take one point in more pep because if I want to, I have a Snyder, I can just do really quick slags with this Snyder fairly easily. And let's grab a Grenage and let's head out. And two more points. Um, I think this right side tree is more important than the other trees because i want to stack up anarchy faster so what the sanity saver mod should do for me is it should allow me to keep my anarchy stacks between stages so the first thing i'm going to do is actually i'm going to go into my options key binds and go to reload and then turn it from r to star this is that's my secret tech uh, let's see if this rocketeer has got anything any juice for us doesn't look like it's got much juice Especially when I could just rock something like this bandit pistol. Be even more effectiveness. Yeah. Be even more effectiveness. And it's a statistic weapon accuracy and reload speed. Okay, sure, I'm not stacking up anarchy that much, but... I'm already at two stacks. I'm never going to reload early. Once I get myself a Jacob shotgun, I should be fine. Hyperion damage and reload speed. That actually saved my run last time. I was getting that nice... Right, like, how about we swap to our Snyder here? Trying to get land a crit. Not landing it. I'm going to get some high ground here. Crouch up on the high ground. Searching for my enemies to shoot. There we go. A little critical. Let's go back to my bandit pistol. That trap's going away, but... Oh, pistol damage plus 32%. Perfect. I like that. Yes. Like that a lot. Okay, so let's go back to my Snyder. Get myself a slag. And do you guys want to jump up here? Fine. You know what? You want to jump up? That's that's your ledge now. No, no, no. That guys, I that's your ledge. I don't need to be up there. Get owned. Yeah, that, that's a get owned situation. Okay, left. Oh, I, I landed a nice hit right there. Tossing grenades at me. That ain't gonna work. Left, right, and then back to my pistol. Look at that, beautiful. We're gonna be clearing stage one relatively quickly here. I mean, stage one is usually the hardest stage of the entire, one of the harder stages. I'm not gonna say it's the hardest one, but it's definitely one of the harder stages. Even this Slag Snyder's a great get here. Oh, use the chest for cover, use the chest for cover. <laughs> beautiful, I don't think I need that trap, but there's no really point in not putting, getting him out here. 
Go get him, homie. If I just get one Hyperion chest, I can stack my Anarchy up to, like, extreme levels. But I don't really have a shotgun or anything that can... That beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what we got here. Hmm... Cooking up trouble in the better half, better half? What is mine? Better half more. What is cooking up trouble? Is it... Cooking up trouble. Cooking up... Oh, yeah. It's the healing one. No. It's this one. While your magazine... Yeah. It's while your magazine is fully regenerate health. If I don't have a Jacob shotgun or something like that, it's probably not the best, but I'll take it for now. Ton of fire rates. The better half is good, but I don't want the minus magazine size. Maybe I do. Who knows? All right, let's climb and get myself a pressure pad here. I couldn't make that jump. Let's try one more time. Gotta be able to make this jump. Sprint, jump, made it. That trap's doing his thing over there. Doing a great job. Can I see where this robot is? Yeah, right here. I'm gonna blow you up. I'm gonna blow you up. Oh, it didn't work. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, you're right here? Yeah, I got you now. Hot loaders are really dangerous if you have no shields left. When you do have some shields left, not too dangerous. Okay. Do we get ourselves a quad or anything like that? How about a nice flat off? Sorry, right, full. Did something drop on the ground? Yeah, something, one thing did. Okay, let's grab it. I'm looking for like a nice juicy quad or something like that. We're look we're getting a lot of class mods that we already have. A gauges class mods are usually, at least for me, the most underwhelming. How about a, a nice quad? Nope. Yeah, the reason I'm looking for a quad is simply because they're just so good for stacking. Ooh, a monstrous Snyder, would you look at that bad boy? Holy that's nice. All right, let's grab our points into blood soak shields. Is good. Let I don't want to take blood soak shields if I don't have to. I lose only one percent of my current health. Yeah, losing only losing five percent of my current health really isn't that isn't that bad. Honestly, let's roll. Let's roll. Three horns divide. It shouldn't be too hard of a stage. The competition and we have a street sweeper, but that would take forever to... That would take forever to do anything or to reload. I'm going to take it though as my backup. Let's come on top of this rock and go for some headshots. Oh, never mind. I fall off the rock. Oh, missed my headshot. Landed that one. Landed that one. You're gone. Let's just go for some long-range shots here. I know sniping with Anarchy isn't the most synergistic thing, but... For now, my Anarchy isn't too high, so I can land these shots relatively easily. You're gone. Oh, now you're gone. Oh, that's good damage right there. Ooh, like those crits. Where'd you go? Come on, show yourself. One of your buddies doing it? Oh, what's with? Gotcha. Miss. Come on now. This is a good sniper zone because these guys all rock like SMGs and stuff. That guy's still hiding behind that barricade. Fringe Lord. Oh! He was waiting for a shield to come all the way back up. Oh, that was totally worth it, buddy. No crits, don't eat them. That's a nice reload speed, too. Oh, look at all these guys. Who needs crits nowadays, huh? Aiming for body shots a little bit easier. Nice. And where are you? Oh, you got lucky. Admit it. Admit it, you got lucky. Come on. Didn't think so. Death trap, go get him. Oh, 
This guy's talking about shotguns over here. And he's not even using one. Cringe Lord. Let's fire one more time. Get a reload off. All right, game. I, what I'm really looking for is something that is, I can stack up my anarchy quickly. Oh, Grenages. Lobslide Transfusion. Let's take this Transfusion. It's, it's, it's got pretty long fuse time, but... I think it'll be decent. Oh, wait, you're gone. See you later. 13 out of 15. Shoot the barrel. You're gone. Got one more barrel to shoot here. Nice. There we go. We can we can clear out the stage relatively quickly. I will take these sniper. Oh, I will take that sniper. Very good for taking out armored targets. I'm like getting a lot of snipers actually. So, blood soak shields and then typecast iconoclast is a really big get. A very big get. Okay, what do we got? An umbrage with a Vlad off barrel. Don't mind if I do. I still have on pistol damage. I don't have much else to rock right now. I mean, I've got cooldown rate. That's about it. And what you got for me? Ooh, that's a scarab. Okay, I thought it might be a gal. No, don't swap out my app. My, my super amazing Snyder. What do you think this is? Bush League? Speaking of Bush League, if you guys haven't checked out... <laughs> okay, okay that, not the best segue, but... If you guys have not checked out my Quest for the King's Call series, where I, that's where I go over like a lot of stuff. At least in my day three, I went over a lot of stuff that's going on in my life, and I started talking about NASCAR a whole bunch. Wires on talk, more pep. I just... Plus six wires on talk makes sense. If you get like a really good shock damage weapon because that's a shock damage boost all right pressure plate me something good to eat please Don't worry, baby. we are we're getting pretty gypped now i mean we're i'm gonna head to the next stage after this last chest oh but that's it man two pressure plates and no jacob shotties in the small map like not even on the small map you know what i'm saying oh we're gonna need to use shotties here all right, let's start talking, tossing some nades. Hey, you're gone. The shotgun really isn't bad. Hey, stop it. I like this actually pretty big magazine size, to be honest. Get out of here. No rabbit skags. It's just my luck, huh? I mean, I'm happy there's no rabbit skags, but... Let's, let's shoot this to reload it. Okay. Now I beg of you. Wow, it's been all class mods. Legendary Necromancer class mod. Here's my thing. It's not... It's not better than what I'm rocking right now, I don't think. Maybe it is. It is giving us a lot of different skills. Yeah, maybe it is better. We'll keep it. The cooldown rate doesn't matter that much to us until the dragon fight, so it's nice to have, but... Maybe we do want a spitter or a slipper rifle. We're gonna leave it there, though. Climb right here. We are gonna go for the pressure plate. Oh, yeah. What do we get? The train rifle, an emerald rifle, a TMP. It's not bad. What is this? Ooh, that's got high damage, a decent fire rate, consumes four ammo per shot. Maybe this would be good. I'm gonna give it a shot. Ooh, a nice revolver. I'm gonna give it a shot. Yes, yeah, let's, let's back off me, huh? How about a little bit? Back off me. Not bad, not bad. We're gonna stick with the legendary Macromancer class mod just for a bit now. And let's go Mylan and then Strength of Five Gorillas. Let's get Death Trap up a little bit better and then we'll go down this left side tree. Just trying to make sure that we make use of all the, the skill points that we're that we're getting. What I don't wanna do, what I don't wanna do is respec. 
Uh, respecting will make me lose all my anarchy stacks. And that is not what I want. Uh, who's our mini boss? The fridge. Okay. This one's a little bit more challenging. Is this to get to him? I would say than some of the other ones. Oh, that's a, that's a droog right there. It's a slag droog. We'll take that. Hey, keep going, Death Trap. I believe in you. Tossing myself a grenade. Did I grab my Druk? I did. Actually, let's go ahead and... S I don't think it's going to be better than the Snyder. Maybe for bossing it will, but for now, the Snyder, I think, is a little bit better because it, it consumes way less ammo. Look, look at the... The Snyder's doing just fine. Pretty tanky enemy. That guy does not like to get crit. And who does, but still. Good job, Death Trap. Oh, whoa, whoa, you spawned right on top of me. Up to my shotgun. That's why we have a shotgun. Okay, we can go back to our sniper. That's why we have a sniper. Hopefully my double cooldown will help me out here. Okay, toss a nade. You're gone, kid. Okay, we're shooting to get our reload off is all. Gun looks pretty. Is it any good? Spiker. We take it. I don't think it's going to be that great. Take this because we're going to need it right here for these enemies. It's going to help me clear these enemies out a little bit faster. Oh, that's a nice shot. That was some nice shots right there. Anybody else? I didn't think so. Oh, yep, there is somebody. Oh, come on, Jolt's Candy, help me out here. I probably should have saved the Jolt's Candy for next round, to be honest with you. Do I? Yes. Transfusions with Jolt's Candy is so broken. Holy moly. What you got? Still nothing to stack up my anarchy. 72 stacks, though, isn't bad. Okay, let's see. Brain number two, coming at you. Brain number two, dreams come true. That's what I that's what I always say. Let's go. And really enjoying roguelands in general. Just a super fun roguelite to play. If you die, it's all over. Right, what do we got here? Calipine or a nice muckamuck. 110,000 damage, decent fire rate. Let's slap it on. Let's slap it on. Yep. I like where we're at. And here's what we do. We're going to throw our grenade to hopefully slag him. And let's use our muck and muck. Come on. Land a crit, brother. Land a crit. One crit for the, for the lads. For the boys. Dang it. Okay, well, while we wait for Rackman to stop being Rackman, shoot the last brain. What you got for me? A turtle shield actually makes some sense when you're playing Gage. Oh, there's a crit. There's another crit. There we go. That's all we had to do was land a crit. Amp shields also make sense when you're playing Gage. Because when you get a kill, you can get all your shields back. So I like amp damage shields on Gage in general. Okay. Five points. I am going to keep it efficient and go cooking up trouble. I think close enough for four makes sense too because if I miss it can bounce and hit an enemy which is nice and this looks like it's the elephant gun which is extremely high damage if you can land a crit but it doesn't have a scope I think this muck and muck is going to be overall just better despite it having a blade it's actually pretty nice ooh legendary macromancer class one same one I've got now okay let's go next round no power ups to speak of what do we get can we get the dwarf? I, I think this guy can be can be crit. I'm not entirely sure. I know he can be slagged, so let's go ahead and slag him. Okay, let's try. I don't know if he can be crit or not. Hmm. Listen, if if anyone knows his crit spot. Please let me know. 
I'm gonna switch over to this Aegis. Do I have anything better? I'm looking for something that's fire. Now let's go with this fire and let's go incendiary damage. There we go. Make sure he stays slagged. There we go. Switch over to my Aegis. That's much better damage right there. Much better damage. Good job, Death Trap. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Ooh, that's big damage with the Anarchy. Once one shot with the Snyder is all it takes because we have bonus slag chance. So easy nowadays. So easy nowadays. Very good. All right, something good to eat. Love Thumper. Okay, let's go Creamer for our launcher. Very nice. Ooh, a beautiful Sandhawk. A beautiful Sandhawk. Let's grab that. I'm not really about the 1340. The Love Thumper could be interesting. If you give if you give Death Trap a copy of your shield. Incendiary Greed. I do like it. I'm gonna slap it on. This shoots as fast as I want it to, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, now we're looking for some Tiny Tina class mods. No class mods. We do get a, a sticky lob slag transfusion with a 2.2 second fuse time. Don't mind if we do there. Okay, anything up here? Iridium. Nice. Crowdsourcing. Okay, we can head out. Let's grab our points, and it's going to be, I think, a pretty easy decision here. Uh, the better half. Now. I think... I gotta think what is the best course of action here. I There's a lot of different ways you can go with Gage from this point, and I really think that this tree is the best. So let's just put some more points in the better half. It's, it's straight up fire rate, which is nice. Fire rate is just a really, really nice skill to have on Gage because you get so much gun damage on Gage that fire rate turns into probably like your best stat overall. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, get out of my face. Man, I wasn't even ready. You didn't even, you didn't even ask. Let's go. So if you listen to this gunfire, once it gets past half, you can, you can hear it pick up. Here we go. It's a nice, this is a nice freebie round. Every time we get a kill, our shields go back up to full, so. Not bad, not bad at all. I, I like these, these, even though these uh, horde rounds are the most challenging in the world, I think that they are really fun. They add a nice flavor into it. A very nice flavor into these rounds. Ooh, in we get. We could try to cheese with this Mopey's candy, but... Since we're heading to Sanctuary next round anyways, I don't think it's really worth it. I don't have the most iridium in the world. But getting this Sandhawk makes me feel pretty comfortable with where we're at. I think that the Sandhawk is dull. So Bandit Fire Rate doesn't make that much sense to me. It's a cooldown reduction, 43%. Send the air damage on the Sandhawk is crazy, by the way. So... Let's go Death Trap stuff, Death Trap stuff, and then Unstoppable Force. Let's roll. Let's go. Unstoppable Force giving us that movement speed and shield recharge delay after getting a kill. Michael, give me something good to eat here, please. And then box me. We got two gubs. Are you for real? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm looking for something good that's shock. Okay, well... The electric chair is something that's good, that's shock. Let's equip it. One more pull for the lads. Come on. This one's for the lads. It's, it's shock. We take it. What do you got for me? Ugh, yuck. So let's go Grenage. Submachine. Pistol. And all we have left is enough for a launcher. And we head out. Terramorphous. Please, Terramorphous. 
Okay, we, we did get Hyperus, so we don't really have any way to skip his phase or anything like that. But what we can do is just rinse him with the Sandhawk and hope it does enough damage. Yeah, that's really, really high damage. Like, extremely high damage. Uh, how much damage will this do to these guys? I think it'll do enough. I do have a Gub I could use, but the Sandhawk seems like it's doing enough anyways. Okay, you're good. Good stuff. Okay, back back to the main effort. Oh, that's so much damage. Oh, I'm not sure how many more passes we have to do, but... Um, I think this might be a good time for me to just say, hey, let's get out of Gub. I have only have like 14 million of them. Which one's the best? Man, these two are close. I'm gonna go for the one without weapon zoom. Just to keep it simple on myself. There we go. Thank you to the Gub. Gub is really nice at, at taking out Hyperius, his minions in general. My Sandhawk is in the slot too, it's something I gotta remember. That way I don't have to keep scrolling around just to guess. Thank you, Death Trap. Keep it moving. Just keep it moving. Here we go. Now, let's toss, let's toss electric chair. Electric chair. Oh, I, sh I fired some bullets into his uh, sh into his shield there. Sorry, buddy. Oh, now our Gub's on the, sa the back half of its magazine, which means it's gonna fire so much faster. Which is nice, very nice. Okay. Not bad. Let's go back to our Sandhawk. Never mind. It's, it's I'm probably not doing it fast enough. I know he's gonna come back. Yep. Yeah. Th that trap, get out here, please. Thank you. I need to get my go below half. Bad. Bring it on, homie. I don't know what where Death Trap is or what he's doing, but I'm sure he's helping me out somehow. All right, back to my Sandhawk. Very high damage right there. Holy cow! Don't kill myself though. Be careful. Go with my weapon number three slot. Now I'm gonna start getting kills. Very strong. The one big weakness is that I don't have much accuracy, but I think 150 anarchy stacks is good enough most of the time. Okay, you're gone. Anybody else? I I think that was the last one. So we can just we can just swap to my sandhawk here. A nice fire sandhawk to to use against Hyperus. This is a this is a way to this is how you do it right there. That is how you do it right there. Give me all that iridium. Wow, that loot went flying. Holy cow. Everything went off into the ether. But I need that iridium for box bowls, so they don't mind if I do. Alright, what's my loot? Let's see. Sticky homing bonus package. Probably not going to end up being used. Oh, what's this? Antagonist! Would you look at that? That is awesome. Antagonist. Gonna ring. Yeah, no. You can... You you can stay in the backpack forever, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Now we've got the new room with the new update. We got this new room to, to open up. Beautiful. Okay, so we're at 147 anarchy stacks. Didn't get a Jacob shotgun or anything like that. Ooh. That looks pretty good, but we're gonna skip it. We're gonna stick with the legendary one. Oh, collect my reward first, of course. A Seraphim or a Seeker? Well, that's an easy choice. Seraphim. All day, every day. All day, every day. Now, game, please. I'm begging you. Please allow this to work. Ooh, I, I noticed that. Oh! I don't die here, do I? Okay, good. Up. Okay, I made it. Up. They added a couple variants to each of these minigames. And so th there's a different version of this one that is like the pad keeps moving in front of you. Instead of it just being like a checkered board pattern, it just you have to keep hopping or else you'll you'll with the one you're standing on will just keep falling out beneath you. Okay, so I believe all my anarchy stacks 
are gone forever which is so sad because even with the sanity saver mod on we don't get to keep it which is not i mean it's a good time to do a respec um is there anything i would change is there anything i would change here no i mean I mean, strength of five gorillas, some might argue that's a bad point to put in, but it's if you're putting one point in, you get a little bit more damage for for my boy Death Trap. I mean he deserves it. He works hard. Talk to me. Nice. After the round ends, you get double movement speed for loot and convenience. That's all a part of the 1.1 update, which is just an absolutely enormous update to the game. Okay, climb me, climb me, climb me. So these chests are fancy. They get extra items in them. That's pretty cool. All right, let's roll. Gotta stack up my anarchy again. Ooh, friendship gulag. Not the best place for... For this fire sandhawk. However... We do have pistol damage. Do have death trap. We do have the electric chair grenade. Don't let this guy get to me. Thank you. Use the electric chair from distance. If I get a gun strong enough, I can stack up all 150 stacks on this stage. I can, if I can get myself like a, a Jacob Shoddy or something. Ooh, I'm not doing nearly enough damage. I might have to go back to my old tactics. One shot. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't get the slag. That's tough. There we go. Now I got the slag. Go down, homie. Thank you. You're shooting at me. Okay. With the antagonists, as soon as I can get Death Trap, a copy of my shield will be slagging up pretty much everything around. That wasn't cool of you either. There we go. You're going down now. Death Trap went down, but we are. A okay with the situation. Where are you going? Ooh, I ran out of blammo. That's tough. Come on, come right back towards me. Later, kiddo. Okay, stay on him. Nice. Ooh, nice bandit launcher, but it's not exactly what I need. What are you doing? Ooh, what a whiff. Ultimate badass. Is that an ultimate badass? Oh my gosh, I'm I do not want to fight him. Did you stop? Where where are you going, homie? What is that path encoding? There we go. A Jacob shotgun me. All I need is a, a singular Jacob shotgun to get my anarchy all the way up. So let's see if this pressure pad has what it takes. Am I the unluckiest player alive? Or am I the unluckiest player alive? I mean we could use something else, but. I'd rather not. I'm just gonna stick with the Snyder for my slagging purposes because I can tag them from far away. Which is important to me. Hey, bud. How's it going up here? No, it's true. I am the, I am the unluckiest player alive. That's crazy. What the heck? Oh, here we go. A scatter gun. Perfect. So what I can do now... Give me that scatter gun. I'm gonna put it in slot three and I'm gonna go up to this Hyperion chest and just so you guys can see what I'm going to, about to do let's go ahead and mm, I'm gonna take unstoppable force into fancy mathematics nice and what I'm gonna do is open up this and as I blast this, I'm gonna get one stack of anarchy per shot. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit, get my anarchy stacks up. Um, then when I'm low on ammo, open up all these crates and get to 150 stacks. And I'll see you guys in a second. 147, 148, 149, and 150. So what was really nice is that because I have so many points in smaller, lighter, faster which decreases my max size i only had to fire one shot per reload so i could just hold down the trigger actually made that go really really fast i don't think i've ever stacked so fast in my life so things are looking up for us now let's slap on a gub and now we have our our, our decent weapon set up now 
150 stacks i really don't think you need more stacks than that and i get the appeal of getting more stacks i really don't think you need it let's go let's just play this smart and take incendiary damage we're gonna be rocking the sand hawk on this stage that trap get out here let's soften up these enemies with a couple electric chairs okay get the electric chairs going don't die to them if we don't have to go out there and we can just let the electric chairs do all the work that's great for that's great for business okay now it's my turn let's head out there july thicker don't, don't evolve there we go another digger i'm going to toss the electric chair that way hopefully that'll soften those guys up look if you look at the damage here it's just it's actually kind of ludicrous how good 150 stacks is especially on like a sandhawk it's kind of insane so we're gonna go 20 percent cooler Get our action skill up faster. And the next time we're going sharing is carrying. Grants a copy of your shield to Death Trap. Complete with all the bonuses and benefits that your shield provides. And we couple that with the Antagonist. Which deflects enemy bullets. Sending them flying towards nearby enemies. And it launches slag coin balls at attackers. So as long as people are attacking us. They're going to be hit by the Antagonist. Let's go ahead and grab our. Blood of the Seraphs. And I don't really want a Might of the Seraphs. Let's go ahead and grab our loot though. I'm still looking for like a really nice shock droog. So let's climb here. I believe the best way to get on top of this building is to jump here. 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 I'm there. Nice. Ooh, I'll take that sniper. That's not bad. Cool. And what is this down here? Corinthian? No thanks. Uh, let's just run around, see if we can find ourselves some red chests before we head out. Okay. I'm a huge fan of the antagonist in general, especially since we can keep it up very nicely on gauge. Okay, grab this. That's going to be it. Let's head out. If we can get Terra Oh, unassuming docks are potentially of little importance. Wow, okay. We can get some decent class mods here. I think these guys mostly resist fire, though. They do. I need to pull out this guy's... I need to pull out the sword from his back. Let's see if I can just ignore the resist, but just overwhelming damage. Yeah. Seems like I can, at least a little bit. Toss two electric chairs over the top over there. This guy resists. Can't resist everything, though. Oh, get punched. Huh. <laughs> What do we got? Deputy's badge? Nice. All right, let's see what you guys got for the electric chair. Rock Golem, he should resist fire as well. But again, I'm trying just overwhelming damage. Okay, that's not going to work. Um, Explosive is good against these guys. I know that. So is melee. I'm hoping these two will start battling each other. I can probably gub this guy down. Okay, looks like he's... Is he resisting corrosive? What can I use that would be good against these lads? I didn't bring any explosive guns with me. So maybe non-elemental could be the way? I'm not so sure. This guy's just going to take no damage from me, though. Let's try to kill this rock golem. He's taking some damage. Let's kill him. It's taking some damage is better than taking no damage. Beautiful. Master Skeleton Archer will give me 9 out of 10. And we just need to get one more kill. Okay, that rock comes full HP. Anybody low? This Ironclad's pretty low. And even though we don't do that much damage to him, it's still it's still a kill. Not bad. So left side scope tree is complete. I'm gonna go down the Middle skill tree for interspersed outburst, I think. I think the nth degree is good too, though. So maybe we head down this skill tree. Hmm. Maybe 50 more anacree stacks could be good. 
don't know, maybe a hundred more. I don't want to get too crazy. Okay, so all the enemies are cleared out. What we need to do now is is pray that we get a. Is pray. Whoa, 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 whoa! I want that iridium though. Thank you. Pray that we get a maybe a, a class mod. Thanks for the iridium. Let's pull out our Snyder and shoot the target. Whiff. 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 Did it still work? No, it didn't. Well, that's gonna be a tough shot with how much anarchy we have. We have so little accuracy. Come on. I think we hit it. Yeah, we did. Very nice. Here it comes. Super cool. Now. There should be a pressure plate somewhere on this map. I don't think I've ever found it. Is it behind this rock? You climb up these rocks. You can a little bit. Oh, oh, soft locked. I'm totally soft locked. I, actually, I'm not because I can I can always just leave. There we go. I'm out. I am looking for a pressure plate. I don't necessarily need it, though. It'd be nice to know if I'm ever on tier 3 Mimic. Oh, I had a feeling. Okay. Take those Grenages. Full on Grenage now. I wonder where the pressure plate is on this map. Grab this last chest. That would have been a good time for Mimic to scare me. I was not ready. Okay. I'll check over here, but then that'll be it. There it is. Wow, I've actually never found it, I don't think, on this map. Let's go. What you got for me? A spitter would have been super nice. And a horror show. Okay, that's going to be good, too. Don't worry, baby. I'll take good. We've got a little bit lucky there. It's not a Drug or anything like that, but it's still a nice shock sniper that I can use against somebody like... Someone like Pyro Pete. Okay. Let's soften these guys up with a little bit of electric chair grenade. Destroy this gas tank. I don't want it to mess with me. Soften them up. Soften them up. If you get yourself in a pearlescent... Or, an, I'm sorry, an effervescent grenade, you might as well use it. Okay, anybody around? I know as soon as I walk forward, they're going to spawn all around me. So here's what we do. Walk forward. Immediately walk back. Looks like we got a, a big shock enemy here. Toss a shock grenade at this heavy nomad. And use our... Oh gosh, yep. We're fine. Use our Sandhawk on the electrified nomad. Because he doesn't take shock damage. Okay. Bottle number one. Right there. Well, it doesn't work. There we go, got it. Bottle number two. Over here. I'm surprised they haven't reworked this stage yet because a lot these guys just stand on the, on the other side of that gate and they mess with you. Um. Okay, let's toss a grenade here. Mortar should get dinged up by that pretty good. Not bad. Go down, Mortar. Go down, go down. Kill him before he kills us. Kill him before he kills us. Huge. And we get to get a, a stomper. Okay. The last bottle is right there as well. Bada bing, bada boom. I like our shield already. I don't think we need a different shield. And our grenades are also pretty good. It's going to be kind of difficult to replace what we've got. But you know, we can give it a try. Okay. Let's grab our points. I want to get to the nth degree. So let's grab movement speed for death trap, and then we're gonna grab nth degree. Ooh, the Badlands. Looks like we're gonna be fighting Saturn here. We can go Gub. We can go Gub, and then we can swap to pistol damage. Death trap, get out here. We're going to go for some slag. Looks like there's a loot enemy on top of Saturn right now. Alright. 
Get to some cover. Use our anarchy, our anarchy gub. Those missiles are going for that trap, which is huge. Absolutely huge. Okay, we just kind of need to get to the, the back half of our magazine. Then we'll be straight chilling. Almost there. Almost there. There it goes. Oh, the gub is so good. On gauge. Holy cow. So good. Ooh, a, a striker. Really good for stacking anarchy. But... Um, I don't necessarily need it right now. Okay, something good to eat. A cobra, beautiful. Um, it's like a blockhead. I like the cobra, but it's just not the right match for it. It's not the right match for it. Ooh, a Hector's Paradise. That's what I'm talking about. That's a shock pistol that I can get, get behind. Let's go nth degree here. Now Mylan... More pep. And let's open up these chests. Come on. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Nothing. Sprint, sprint, sprint. <laughs> running, running, and running, running. Here we go. This is the strat right here. Up. Oh, we made it. I got an achievement last time I jumped up here. Should always be a guaranteed legendary. There, I said it. <laughs> I right, two more chests to go. Last one. Up. The super speed is so nice. Ma remember we used to clear these maps without super speed? Man. That was tough. Don't need that bratch knee. The bushwhack is good, but I'm not taking it. All right, snowman. Snowman meets Sandhawk. Plus incendiary damage. That's not it. Incendiary damage. Where are you? Where are you? There it is. It's that last one with the purple on it. All right, snowman, bring it on. Oh my gosh, they're getting one shot. Hey, get off me. Ah! The antagonist is messing these guys up, though. Where are you? Get out of here, snowman. This this that this round is extremely satisfying. Get out of here. Get out of here. I wish it was like I mean I don't I hate saying what I wish it was like. I, I really do. I wonder if I wonder if I could turn off clear round on enemy kill for those rounds and just like I wanna see how long it goes. Let's take our token of giving and open up all these chests. Let's see if I can get a legendary. I got one legendary last time around of this. Okay, let's see. Nothing. Not. Oh, a little bit of viridium. Worth. It's officially worth. I like my slag transfusion better. Oh, more viridium. Even more worth. Perfect. Ooh, shock damage and cooldown rate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So good. Alright, so. We're gonna go down this middle tree. Shock and Oz, good skill. I'm gonna say... More pep is the best here than electrical burn, but I, I'm not sold on any of those skills. Like... Gage's middle school tree, I don't know. It just it feels like it's good for like a playthrough. But not necessarily good for anything else. Like a, not a... Let's see, robots here is decent and a catalyst is decent. I think I... You know what I'm going to do? I already have decent weapons. And I can get a lot more. Oh, I should have gone more sniper rifle. Because if I get Craw or Pete... Come on, Terramorphus, please. Yes! Oh, it's Jover now. We're tier, we are tier three bound. Thank God we didn't get we'd have to fight Pirate Pete this one this time through. It's a miracle, it's an absolute miracle. All right, come on, Terra, bring it on. 
I will be stacking up my anarchy the next stage as well. Once if I can find a good place to do it. All right. Ready to trap? Your job is to smack Terramorphus. I said your job is to smack Terramorphus? That trap. I need to go do something. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. We, I mean, Terramorphus is there's no way it can survive the Sandhawk. Incendiary Sandhawk with incendiary bonus damage. Don't smack me. That's just, that's rude stuff. Beautiful. That trap refuses to help. You know what? That's fine. Where's he going? He's staying in center. Okay. Oh, and the critical strikes come raining in. GG. They, they also, there's a dedicated uh, drop spot for his loot. Yeah, right here. Perfect. Slayer of Terramorphous. You can't get mad about getting a Slayer of Terramorphous when you kill Terramorphous for it. It's just me, though. Just a little bit unlucky. All right, what do we get? An evolution? Oh, yes. I am a big evolution shield guy. And I know it's not the best shield in the world uh, for general purpose use. But against dragons, it's extremely useful to have the extra elemental resist. Think. Yes. Good. We got some great shields to play around with now. Okay. Speed run this one. Oh, wait. This is the old variation. Yay. Okay, the old variation is a little bit easier. Hit it. That's, there we go. Gage. Nice job. Beautiful. We know this one a little bit better than the new one, but there's now there's a couple variations of each of the mini games, which is nice. Which is nice, and you can you re you draw them at random. I feel like so. Let's go. Okay, difficulty tier three. Let's rock it. Let's rock. Let's rock today. We have to stack up our anarchy again, but we're not going to be too concerned about it until it becomes a thing. Now, I wish there was a spot here that you could. That would just, I think, like something was treated as an enemy. I think might, maybe this this chest is. Let's grab a Jacob Shoddy just to test it. Where's the striker? Right there it is. If I blast this, will I get an energy stack? No. It was worth a try though, right? What if I blast the Leviathan? If I, if I, shoot, the, if I shoot the Leviathan, will it work? No. It, it was, both of those were worth a shot. Ooh, a Neo Generator. So, the, the evolution is basically just a better Neo Generator. So, we're going to give you the Neo Generator there. Great shield. Not for right now. And honestly, for right now, let's go back to the Antagonist. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, let's go. Opportunity. Okay, so this... There will be a place to stack our Anarchy, but... Downside is that... Our fire damage weapon is not going to be so great. Let's go pistol damage here. Go corrosive damage with with a gub. Try to soften up some enemies. Oh, there's a there's a barrel right next to me. I'm just not I'm not going to have that much damage right now. Is the only thing. So I'm going to be depending on my grenades a little bit. Yeah, see how low my damage is. Come on, grenades. You know what? Let's go shock damage. And while we're here, let's just swap, swap to a, a Hector's Paradise. The, the extra shock damage should be very useful um, in taking out these enemies. Just keep throwing Grenages. Oh, a loot gun loader. Perfect. Just lean on the electric chair a little bit here in these early go in the early stages while we have Anarchy at very low ranks. Once we get more Anarchy. It'll become a little bit easier. What do we get? A hammer buster. You know, not a bad legendary drop. You can't complain about a hammer buster. Okay, we got an enemy that resists shock. Oh! I'm out of my own stuff here. Two ion loaders. I think it might be time for me to... Yeah, go to my gub. Slowly but surely, we're gonna get this guy down. With no anarchy stacks, it can be a little bit tough. It might be worth going for... Going for some slag. Okay, he should stop spinning anytime now. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. I don't have enough damage for this. Get inside the circle. Get inside the circle. I can't get inside the circle. Oh, I'm so... I'm so back. 
That's the best part. So back. I lost all my anarchy though. Toss this. I unload her. Please stop doing what you're doing, bro. Oh man. Tough tough stage. Tough stage. Very tough stage, especially without anarchy. Oh, we got that right back already though. Huge. I'm helping. Nice critical. So let's start off by getting a vault symbol. Now I don't remember exactly where the where the pressure plate is, but I'm sure I could find it given enough time. There's a, there's a sheriff's badge, which is amazing. That'll help us with our with our gub and our Hector's Paradise quite a bit. We also want to keep our eyes out for a chest that we can shoot to get anarchy stacks. So it's those little yellow vertical ones. What you got for me here? Nothing. No grenages. Got ourselves an ion loader to take out. I'm in danger. That trap, can you get out here, please? You're standing around doing nothing. Oh, easy, easy kill, easy kill. Should be a couple easy kills here maybe oh man i'm in trouble where is that guy okay okay yeah, i'm definitely in trouble now don't go don't go inside there i see that loot ion loader but i can't be too picky right now i just gotta i gotta run for my life i'm at 13 out of 15 that trap saved me that trap saved me war loader i see i have no damage i'm gonna run hopefully death trap can land me a killer too Okay, keep up the deeps, keep up the deeps. Stacking up our anarchy. One shot. Oh, I found some of these chests as well. That's big. Okay, one one more kill remaining. I wanna get this I wanna kill this loot ion loader. He's my number one enemy. Let's go ahead and put on the sheriff's badge. It it'll be worth it just for this one enemy, to be honest. Sheriff's badge is on. That's a big DPS increase, I would think. It's like a raid boss. It's got, this guy literally got raid boss level scaling. Perfect. Okay, he goes down. We get a black hole. Not the best shield, but it's okay. So. We have our wires don't talk now. But the number one thing we're going to be doing is grabbing our shoddy on the small map. And not the striker, actually. Not the striker. Instead, we're going to go to the scatter gun. Slap it on. And start blasting. So there's 33, 34, and I will see you guys once I get some anarchy stacks. See you in a second. Okay, we got 179, 181. I think that will be good enough because 250 is my max, and I don't really want to go above 250. Um, again, I only put two points into uh, fresh, fresh shrunk cyberpunk, so I don't think I need to go any further than that. Let's go make sure that we get a Hexer's Paradise on. Hmm. Actually, I, I kind of want the Sandhawk back on. Sandhawk and Gub, probably the... I, I stick with it. Okay. So we got our energy stacks back. It doesn't take that long. It's just that each, each early stage with Gage can be a little bit tricky. Now, I didn't actually grab the pressure plate on that map. I don't know exactly where it is, but... Ooh, that's a legendary grenade. Interesting. Okay, but now that we have our Anacree stacks back, we should do more than enough damage to push through these cats. Especially with the nth degree. As we as pellets hit enemies, they can ricochet to nearby enemies and just it's just it's just a really nice setup we got now. Gage is super fun once you get to this point. I mean gauge is super fun all the time. Like Death Trap goes out there and tanks up the entire universe while you get to sit back and do damage. It's just a relaxing good character. I think a lot of people, when they talk about Gage, the first thing they bring up is that she only has one build, and while it's true, she only has, like, she only has one core gameplay st style, I would say, which is, you know, anarchy stacking, letting Death Trap do some tanking, and you sit back with high-powered weaponry. Like, it's not a, it's not a bad play style. It's just, yeah, it is, it is limited, but it's not bad by any means. 
I think actually think it's quite quite good. Go ahead and grab our pressure plate in this map. If we get peak opener, I'll be happy. There we go. Peak opener. Now, peak opener is extremely good. And we actually have, we have a new gun for slagging. Perfect. We don't need Nirvana. Sandhawk will do the job just fine. This Moxie's crits. I, I don't think we'll end up needing it. Oh, wow. That was without incendiary damage, too. Very sick. So we're going to take... This might be a bit of a hot take. We're actually going to go shock damage, 33%, and cooldown instead of instead of assault rifle damage. And we're going to make sure we have as many points in wire zone talk as we possibly can. And interspersed outburst. And we are we are ready to go. Like this is a this is a build we are ready for dragons. Warm water should be a quickie. Let's so stick with a peak opener. And just make sure that our that trap is out. And we just use this peak opener to to, to cleanse through this stage. Just don't die to any barrels or anything like that. Okay. Soften those guys up on the right and then use the left side for cover. Get to this door, get to this get to this hut right here, and now we got some actual cover. And using cover in Borderlands is actually pretty underrated, to be honest. A lot of times you end up, you know, you want to have a build that's strong enough that you can just like run straight through, but sometimes you just don't, so. You really want to close the gap on me, friend. That's not gonna work. And the peak opener, when it shoots, it shoots a shock. It shoots a shock projectile, but then it drops some micro grenades. That blow up and do explosive damage. So it does very good shock and very good explosive damage. Alright. We're gonna be we're gonna be pretty much chilling. We're not gonna be uh, looting up anything else until we get to the horde stage. Alright, boom boom. Let's go ahead and we got to let's kill a couple of these lads and then we can go kill boom boom. Because I think boom boom will count for two enemies. Death trap get out here. I am actually, I, I've never really put some res respect on the Legendary Mechromancer class mod, but I think I might start. I think it does give you some really nice skills. I think it's because it doesn't give as many good stats as, say, the Legendary Siren, which gives you gun damage and cooldown reduction or anything like that. Just because it doesn't give you those stats doesn't mean it's bad. All right, let's go. Does not mean it is bad. Sorry, boom. It's just the way it had to be. Alright, Sl Slayer Terramorphous, don't need it. Look at, the, I mean, the damage is just, it's out of control with this, with this, this weapon. It, it really is power crept, especially with Anarchy. Like, yeah. Lit over Donculus. Okay, let's roll. Frostburn Canyon, this is gonna be, yeah, Scorch, this is a nice easy round for me. Okay, good night, sorry. Alright, Death Trap, get out here. Let's go. Look, look I mean, the peak opener just... It, it speeds up your clears so much. Especially with how much... With how much shock damage we were able to put out. Like... Just unreal. Unreal how good that is. Let's go ahead and shoot this bad puppy. With our slag up, we can actually hit something. Okay, so a shock North Fleet goes absolutely insane. Don't worry, baby. I'll take good okay. Now the hot mama, if I if I am correct in this, I believe the hot mama. It always shoots in the same spot. Yeah. So it's very accurate, which is actually going to be really, really good for us. Why? Oh, it's a nice Becca as well. It's really, really good for us because we need something accurate to shoot each of the dragons. Yeah, let's get a reward. Baby maker. Yeah, let's take a baby maker. We need something accurate to hit the dragons. And the hot mama's accuracy never changes despite how much anarchy we have. So the only the only dragon it's not going to be able to bring down is the fire dragon or damage is the fire dragon. Can I uh, move for a second here? Thank you. I just don't want to be inside the, the explosion radius. Whoa, chill out. This is going to get ugly. This is going to get real ugly. Lost me. Okay. 
We are gonna want, I am gonna try to grab a grog nozzle from this. So first thing we do, find the, find the triple barrels, token of vitality, and give, send your iridium offering on the table. I want a grog. I do. Yeah, let's do it. Grog me. There are two grogs here. I was hoping there would be. We want one with... I, th I think that's fine. So, we got ourselves our grog. Peak opener goes in slot one. Hot Mama goes in slot three. Slaga, sorry, you're going to go on the bench because we have something even better for slagging now. The grog nozzle. So, you're... Not only does it slag, it also heals. So you just kind of been replaced. It's kind of like Lander's T in Pokemon competitive battles. He's an Earthquake user. He's a, he used Resist Earthquake. He can also set up Stealth Rocks. He just does a lot of things. And that's what the Grog Nozzle does. Now, speaking of Grog Nozzle, where is it? <laughs> um, there it is. Okay, so slot one, peak opener. Slot two, Grog Nozzle. Slot three, Hot Mama. Slot four, Northfleet. Now, when we go up against the Shock Dragon, we also have an answer. We have ourselves a Sandhawk. Let's max out our Norfleet and our Peak Opener. And that's all we're going to need. Let's roll. All right, Dragons. You asked for it this time. You asked for it this time. Okay. We're going to want to... We're going to want to bring down green as quickly as possible. Okay. That trap out here ASAP. And green. That should be enough to bring him down. Swap to my Grog. Yep. No, don't waste any time here. Just start DPSing. Just start DPSing. Is green dead? Green's alive. Green lives. He should be dead now, though, right? Nope, not quite. Okay, good. Now, let's try to bring down purple. Purple's already down. Perfect. This could be the fastest dragon fight of all time. We are geared to the gills. Now let's bring down red. Uh, if we can. Red, come on down. The price is right. I don't think I can hit him. That's oh, fine. He, if my boy wants to bring down blue. That's a fine. Let's swap over to our... Let's swap over to our Sandhawk. And go back to incendiary damage. And I am still going to put on an evolution shield. All right, here we go. Toss me. Okay. Actually, let's uh, grog nozzle out. When in doubt, grog nozzle out. Okay. That's hurting me. You're hurting me. Getting him to below half is decent if I can get there. Okay, we're, we're, we're healing. We're healing. Reload me. This guy's a tanky lad, but we're getting... He's, he's will have health now. Go for crits. Go for crits. Yes. Thank you, Death Trap. Thank you for everything you did for me right there. That was huge. Okay. Um, I think... Okay, yeah, he does come back down, which is huge. Death Trap is just really, really, really good at tanking, so I want to get him back up, but I already have a lot of cooldown. I feel like we are going to be safe here. Hopefully we don't die. The shock and the fire are the two that are the most dangerous in combination because they counter you. All right, peak opener, you're back in business, uh, ba business, baby. Let's go. Something to bring him down. Yeah, let's go for a Patriot here. I think it should be accurate enough. There we go. I think I hit him, hopefully. Did I hit him? I did. Sick. That trap, get out here. This is going to be a really quick dragon fight. Very, very quick dragon fight. I might even go for a little bit of slag first. Okay, let's go for some slag. He should be slagged automatically. Oh, yeah, these dragons get evaporated. We are geared to the gills, and that's an easy W. Let's go. Yes. Gage makes it look so easy. You get the, all the gear you could possibly want. Yes. 
that trap makes it look extremely good as well. We, we came prepared. Like, we knew what gear we wanted. And we, when we found it, we saw it, we took it, we conquered. That's what I am talking about. That is what I am talking about. Now, there is a secret final boss. I have no idea how to find it. I have no idea where it is. Um, I've tried to cross that bridge before. I couldn't really find anything. But what I will do this time, unlike last time, is I will drop down... I will drop down to the land down under, as they say. Over here on the right-hand side. Now, when you drop down here, you can't get out. I'm going to try it anyways. And see if this is where they hide the secret final boss. This is a mimic, by the way. That trap, I'm going to need your help. Killer mimic. Bring it on, homie. Get one shot. Okay, well, I know it's not the secret. Oh, what is this? Those pesky pink crystals are ruining my vibe. Get rid of them for me. Okay, um... Can I shoot them? Yes, I can. I can. Okay. Any more? I thought I did. I thought I, I destroyed the pink crystals for you. Oh, how about this one? There we go. Any more? Come on. I, I did what you asked. I did what you asked. Now reward me. Okay. Hmm. What did you give me? You gave me some... Those pesky pink crystals are ruining my vibe. Get rid of them for me. I... I... I got the... I got the vault symbol. I killed the mimic. I shot... I shot the, the crystals. Now what? Power Pete's head. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I thought this might be the secret final boss. I don't know if I did, if I got it correct. Oh, you can get out. Okay, I'm out. Yes, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we're gonna get it. We're gonna figure this out. And then we will be the rogue lands gods and no one would ever ever question our dominance come on pink crystals pink crystals pink crystals pink crystals continue yes let's go yes oh we are so ready and i keep my anarchy final raid boss round i'm nervous i'm nervous okay kill one out of one what is it? I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm going for, but I'm I've never felt so geared. Oh, oh my blood is pumping right now, guys. Our final challenge lies ahead. Good luck. Come on. Let's go. Oh my god. It's Lord of Skags. Can he survive the peak opener? I'm doing good deeps to him. I'm doing good deeps. I don't want to get hit, though. Getting hit is probably death. Can I slag this guy? Because he gets slagged. Just keep trying to slag. Okay. That's not, that's not working. That's I'm doing good deeps. I'm doing really good deeps. There are enemies to kill. Keep those guys alive. Solid deeps. No B shield either. Just want to put that out there. Whoa! That guy is... He's big and he's beefy. I'll tell you what. He is large and he's in charge. Do I have... Do I have my incendiary relic on still? No. So I should get death trap back pretty quickly here. What? This is an amazing fight. Look at this. Oh... Yes. This is the way to do it. This is how you end a Rogue Lands run. Yes. Oh. 
Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Uh, looks like uh, it looked like everything got paused there for a second, but I'm good. Everything is fine. Keep tossing. Good job, Death Trap. I mean, we're just we're just flat out DPSing with our peak opener here. I don't know how I would do this without Death Trap, but yeah, my my game keeps pausing on me. Come on, don't don't ruin this recording. Yeah, it keeps alt tabbing. Oh, I'm out of ammo, but the, but he's dead. Oh, oh man. Wow. What a run. What a run. Wow. That was incredible. That's a great final fight, by the way. An absolutely phenomenal final fight. Give me all those crystals. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. And it looks like we get sent back to the main menu. Wow. We unlocked the secret final ending to rogue lands thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to see more videos like this one we have a new way to, to end the run that that's the way to do it i'll see you guys in the next one bye